Good morning, it's day 16. I'm not sure how much I'll show today because you know, I'm on the boat getting back to Ramuski, but I'll record it and uh, we'll see if it becomes a video or not later on. Better to record than not to record, eh? Well, I saw the crusty back of a whale out there, but uh, couldn't get a photo, unfortunately. I don't know if it's in focus, but it's there. My bike's in that container. <laughs> Hope none of that water ended up inside. Don't know where it's going. I'll have it soon enough. Well, it's a bike ride that should never have worked, right? Uh, I even wonder now whether I damaged my wheels looping them in like this. So I'll have to think about that. It doesn't matter for these wheels anymore. They're done. <laughs> but uh, maybe for future wheels, I'll, I'll think about better ways of mounting them. Uh, it shouldn't have worked, but it did. And I'm back. And I crossed Anacostia Island by bicycle. And now here I am at the port in Ramuski. Everybody's off the boat. The other bike packers have headed off. Yeah, I ran into a bunch of them here. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Tired, sore back, but feeling pretty good. So I'm in Montjoli, Quebec, which if you looked at the map is half an hour in the wrong direction. You might wonder how I come to be here. Well, thanks to Expedia, uh, its online registration uh, mobile version has a habit of resetting the date. So it reset the date, and that was my first hotel that uh, booking that didn't work. And so, okay, I booked a second one again in Ramuski. Uh, no, they gave me a booking, but it turns out somebody else had already booked that room. So, third time desperate and I didn't even notice that they had sandwiched a Montjoli listing among eight or ten Ramuski listings and took it. It was the only one open anyways. So here I am, Montjoli, Quebec, looking for a beer. I seem bar is milk bar, but I'm going to check just in case. Right next to it is the distillery. Looks like a great distillery, but there doesn't appear to be a pub attached. I think that's down by the riverside, which is three kilometers away. You know how if you go into the tourist area, into the wilderness, and then go deeper and deeper and deeper into the tourist area, and then go out beyond, out the other side? Montjoli feels a bit like that. And I bet you it's real quiet here after dark. That's the problem with these highway developments. It's like a one or two kilometer walk into town where there would be anything interesting and the center of town doesn't benefit at all from the highway traffic. I love this. Sure, Montjoli can't have a world-class art gallery. It's just not big enough. Doesn't mean people have to be deprived of art or knowing about art. This is just on the, the side of a building dates from 2005 and you can see a lot of you know interpretations as they're called of the great artworks 
Who couldn't be inspired by that as a kid? You know, just seeing all these lined up like this and thinking, yeah, I can do that. You know, it's the example you set in your community. What's valuable and what's valued. This is valued. And it's valuable. Notwithstanding all that, I still haven't found a place to have anything to eat or a beer. Aha. Uh -huh. I found my resto pub. Every town worth its salt has one good one, and I think I found it. Okay, you can't really see, but I'm walking down an unlit bike path here in Mont Joli. The main road is off there, and there's the suburb over there, which of course you can't see. There was a time that Something like this would have been spooky and scary to me and I wouldn't do it. I mean, I would, but I'd be all freaked out the whole time. Now, now I'm managing. I think I'm going to wrap up the uh, Anticosti video with this clip. Uh, it seems like a good time. I've uh, had my smoked meat sub. and had my beer, a nice IPA which I like, and uh, there's this light rain sprinkling on me, but otherwise all is right with the world. I sort of want to talk about what it means to remember, but of course, you know, you're probably filled, filled with too many self-serving reflections on this trip already. I mean, how many times can I reflect on a two-week trip in the bush? Uh, and yeah, there's a point to that. But it's the sort of thing I'm going to remember the rest of my life. Oh, I'm on a bridge now. It's a little slippery. But well, you can sort of barely see it in the video. And as memories goes, this one has some pretty heady competition from, you know, my, my own history. Climbing to the top of the dome of St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. That ranks right up there. Watching Uluru in the rain. Climbing the Great Wall of China. Standing, blinded by the brilliant light of the world's most beautiful building, the Taj Mahal. Exploring the rugged west coast of Tasmania. These are the sort of things that this trip to Anticosti stacks up against. And it's brilliant in its own way. These are the things that matter to me, I think. And I know other people value possessions and other people value, I don't know, family, heritage, patrimony, legacy. And I, I see the worth in all of those things. But for me, it's these moments, these moments when I'm just standing and seeing the beauty that is this world and how lucky I am to be in it. That's what works for me. And this is just another suburb of another town, the Gaspé Peninsula in Quebec. But to me, right now, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. A jewel to end my time on Anticosti Island.